there is no way you can eat anything today which is not chemically infested. If you're eating very organic food, it's little organic chemicals they're using. It's come to that place. It's very difficult to eat something that's just grown in the wild forest, you can pluck out something and eat. That's very, very little, not even a small percentage of people are capable of eating that anymore. It's all from the marketplace. And what goes into the marketplace is all about more, not about what. And also this, in this country, <laughs> all these things are gone now, don't worry. My grandmother, every day the vegetable seller, you know, they used to come home with a basket. Just then in the morning they would have plucked, by 7.38 they're at the doorstep. When they come and she will look at this, when she wants to buy it, she won't allow the vegetable seller to touch the vegetables. They plucked and brought it. It's fresh, just now it's come off the plant. But if it has to go into the balance or if she has to choose one, two, three, four like this, she won't let them touch it. You don't touch my vegetables. This is not to keep bacteria away. She doesn't want that woman or that man to touch the vegetables that her children and grandchildren will eat. She will touch it in a certain way. She will fondle it, she'll caress it, she'll look at it like this, like this and then she will cut it and make it. Don't think this is all funny. If all these things are missing in your life, you have to take pills to manage your glandular function and there is no way by popping a pill you can get it into balance, you can suppress it. You cannot get it into proper balance, no way because every day it's different, every moment it's different. This is calibration, a very active calibration that's happening. You kill it and just take a pill and somehow manage. You are a little dysfunctional machine. 